Welcome to ECE 461 60, 61 Control Systems for Fall 2020. Now, Control Systems is a kind of a bastardized word. It means quite a few different things. The start of the semester, we're going to be looking at PLCs. A PLC is a programmable logic controller. Uh, for example, the Allen Bradley PLC that we're looking at is this one. It does things like it can monitor binary inputs, analog inputs, and do binary outputs with relays. Typically, PLC is something like a car wash. I want to turn on a motor for 10 seconds, turn it off, turn on a pump for 20 seconds, turn it off, go through sequential logic. And a PLC is oftentimes how those are implemented. Uh, we're going to start out with PLCs. PLCs are oftentimes programmed with a thing called ladder logic. It's a graphical version of a programming language. And this is what ladder logic looks like. It's got these switches. If this switch is closed, then a light turns on. Um, I can put switches in series and have if switch 1 and switch 2 are on, the light turns on. That's an AND function. If they're in parallel, if switch 1 or switch 2 is on, the light is on. There's also NOT, and given AND or NOT, you can do anything. Now one option for the PLCs, we have these boxes you can check out. Inside the box, you've got an Allen Bradley Micro 810 PLC. This is the cable that you need to connect the PLC to your computer. A 24 volt power supply and a connector. This connector just plugs in right here, and that's where the USB connects in. In addition, we've got the software on a thumb drive. Uh, this software has Code Composer Workbench for Windows 10, as well as Windows XP. So that should have everything that you need to get started. We've got... What these boards do is they just connect the Allen Bradley PLC to a bunch of binary inputs. So as you push these buttons, that applies logic 1, or 24 volts to input 0, input 1, through input 6, to analog inputs. So you can sit there and pretend that the temperature is going up and down, water level is going up and down. The relays are connected to four LEDs, as the first relay is red, yellow, green, blue, for a stoplight or whatever you want. Plus this fourth one, when the blue light turns on, it charges up capacitor. This is just a little pick processor that displays the voltage as a bar graph. So at zero volts, I have no lights on, and all the way up at 10 volts, I have all the lights on. So I can sit there and charge the capacitor, watch the voltage go up and down, and treat that sort of like I'm trying to control the speed of a motor, control the water level in a tank. If the water level gets that too high, turn off the pump. If it gets too low, turn on the pump. You know, some things you can do. So at the start of the semester, we'll spend two weeks, two or three weeks, spending time on ladder logic, programmable logic controllers, probably because that's one type of controls. Also, there are quite a few jobs on PLCs. In Europe, most of the PLCs are Siemens. In the United States, almost all of them are Allen Bradleys. So we have nine Allen Bradley PLCs we'll be you know, letting you check out and do the homework assignments on. If you want, you can also use PLC Fiddle. Uh, PLC Fiddle is a free programming language that lets you program PLCs remotely or on, online in simulation. So you can do your OR functions in two in parallel, AND function in series, uh, NOT function. It also has, being a microprocessor, you can have comparators, uh, timers, counters, and other things like that. This is just to give you experiments using PLCs. And again, it's completely your choice whether you use the Allen Bradley PLCs or PLC Fiddle. PLC Fiddle is convenient, but it looks good in your resume if you've had experience with Alan Bradley. Um, again, quite a few jobs are in that area. That's how we'll be starting the semester. As the semester moves on then, we'll go into control systems, which is actually applied math. What we start out with is coming up with the dyna dynamics of a system. And a dynamic system simply means it satisfies a differential equation. For example, this is the heat going through a metal rod or a 10-stage RC filter. Both behave the same. The temperatures that move along the rod satisfies the differential equation. That's a dynamic system. Second example is like a cart and pendulum. This is analogous to trying to balance a rocket on a ball of flame or balance a yardstick on your hand. This too is a dynamic system. As I apply a force on the base or move the base back and forth, I can get the pendulum to balance or not balance. Those are the course is set up using the Hyplex model for this semester. Now, every day in class, the class will have a regular lecture at the scheduled class time, scheduled class location. 
SEEM Auditorium, 10 a.m. And we'll go over the lecture. That will be live streamed as well. So if you are uncomfortable being in class or unable to make it to campus, you can still live stream the lecture. In addition, all lectures have been recorded and posted online. For example, when we start looking at letter logic, these are the lecture notes that we'll be covering that day, talking about the PLCs, uh, what's on the inside, and so on. Later on, when we get to, uh, say, here we go, modeling circuits, coming up with a differential equation to describe a circuit. These are the lecture notes that we'll be covering in class. This is in landscape format or portrait format. The same notes are also in landscape format, uh, pretty much because I made videos over the summer. I've got them in landscape format anyway. Sometimes in presentations, landscape works better. So take your pick. It's the same thing. In addition to the lecture notes being posted online, uh, this summer I made gobs and gobs of videos. Every lecture has a video that's been recorded, posted on YouTube, and here's the link. So this will be the link on, or the lecture on September 11th. Uh, completely up to you how you want to receive the information in person, live streaming, just watch it on YouTube, your pick. I, it all works for me. After the lecture, it will typically have a handout. For example, when we get to first and second order approximations, this is the handout we'll be going over in class. Here's the system, what's the transfer function? Second one, here's the system, what's the transfer function? Again, these are all posted online, so if you aren't able to make it to class, here's the handout. Uh, what's not posted yet are the videos where we go over the handout. I'll have those posted shortly, but I haven't made the videos yet. So again, it's completely up to you how you want to handle the class, uh, in person, live stream, remote. Uh, remote, I've actually, my goal is to make remote so convenient that most people choose to go that way. We kind of need to do that to keep the numbers down on campus to prevent an outbreak. So I've tried to make it as convenient as I can. Again, you've got the lecture notes, you've got the videos, you've got the handout, you've got videos going over the handouts, the homework sets are posted online. In addition, this class has been running for quite a while. So I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight different semesters of homework sets and solutions posted. So again, like if we go to the PID and delays, here's the solution from fall 2019, the homework set, uh, the solution, the response I got. Again, just a, a resource for you to use if you're having trouble with the class. Um, here's both solutions. Now, as far as how the class is going to be run, oh, forgot to mention, uh, I'm Jake Lauer. Uh, as far as how the class is going to be run, my office hours are Monday through Friday, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on Zoom. So if you ever want to get a hold of me, I'm usually online, uh, you know, probably doing grading, stuff like that. You can email me and you know, I can usually get back to you right away. Or guaranteed, 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. every night, I'm on Zoom. The labs are open labs. Again, the first couple weeks are PLC labs. You can use Twiddle, PLC Twiddle, or PLC Fiddle, or the Allen Bradley PLCs if you check those out. The Allen Bradley PLCs you can actually check out as soon as you want. Um, this is now August 3rd. They're ready to go, so anybody wants to start the labs early, uh, please do. And we have nine PLCs for 21 students. It would actually help if a couple people started the lab early. The other software you need is, so you can uh, go to NDSU ITS and get your own license for MATLAB. Uh, the other software you need is Simulink. Simulink is the graphical version of MATLAB. There's also a thing called VisSim. VisSim is another graphical program language that lets you do drag and drop. Basically lets you draw block diagrams. This is kind of what VisSim looks like. So you can sit there and draw your different systems. And this is kind of a more elaborate one. I can sit there and play with the gains. If I want to do a PID compensator, it'll simulate a dynamic system and how it behaves. Uh, really the main ones we'll be looking at, let's stop the simulation. It'd be something like this. I've got a feedback control system. 
I want a design for the maximum gain possible that gives me something like 20% of a shoot. How much gain can I get? And so you can sit there and calculate the gain and then check with VisM and see, do I really have 20% of a shoot? On the homeworks in this class, VisM is actually really nice. There's many, many ways to solve any given problem. The ask the test is, does it work? This is a nice convenient way to say, here's my plant, here's my controller, close the feedback loop, does it meet my specs? If it works in VisM, you probably did it right. That's also easier for me in grading. Kind of what I can see is if I can see your diagram, see the step response. If you did it right, you got full credit. Now in terms of uh, required resources, the textbook, there's quite a few textbooks available. If you go to Amazon, you can buy Control Systems by Freeland for $15. Yeah, pretty good book for that. Another good book is Control System Design by Chen. Here the prices vary. Uh, this one is $55 used, uh, $49 used, a little bit pricey. A very good reference also is Shaum's Outline, which I need a link. Shaum's Outline on Control Systems is $4. Uh, another good reference. Again, your pick as what textbook you get. A lot of people just use the online notes on Bison Academy and call it good. If you want a second reference, uh, I like Freeland, I like Shelm's Outline, I like less than $10. Those are actually pretty good references. As far as how the course is going to be run, the grading in this class is uh, three midterms, homework and labs count as one unit, final counts as two units, all average together, the overall average. Labs are part of the homework, so there's no lab write-up, there's no 50-page lab report. It's just part of the homework. And typically what the lab would be is uh, get a PLC to meet the requirements in the first you know, two, three weeks. Then later on, design a feedback controller, test a MATLAB. Now go over to Simulink or VisSim, build it in simulation, and test it. That's kind of how the labs run, mostly in this class. The grading in the class is straight scale meaning if you have a 90%, guaranteed you have an A. I will curve down, but I won't curve up. Meaning if you have an 89%, you might have an A, might not. Last semester, I think 88% was the cutoff for an A. I do that because sometimes the testing is a little bit too aggressive. So um, in that case, you might be 89 is an A, 88 is an A. If you work together, you study, uh, everybody gets a 90, I'm happy to give out all A's. Um, again, the high flex, we mentioned that earlier. For the testing, uh, the testing is your choice. You can take the tests in class during regular class times. The nice thing about taking it in class is you'll have a hard copy to put down your answers. You can also take the tests remotely on Blackboard. If you take the class remotely, you'll have probably about two hours to complete the test. The reason you have the extra hour is it's not quite as convenient. You don't have a hard copy right there. You've got to electronically download it, work on it, scan your answers, upload it. it. Takes a little bit of extra time. So if you're taking the class remotely, taking the test remotely, you'll have a little bit of extra time. The, on the day of the test, you can start the exams anytime between 8 a.m. and midnight. Then you have two hours to complete it. And the reason for the two hour limit is the summer tried having unlimited time. And what happened is that everybody worked together. These are tests. You're not supposed to work together on tests. You know, this is where you demonstrate your knowledge of the material. If you work together on a test, I have no idea what you know. And so likewise, people got a zero on the test. They'd be better off working alone on the test. You're supposed to work alone at the test. Two hour time limit doesn't really give you time. You got to take the test, get, get your answers and get it uploaded within two hours. And that's the reason for the two hour time limit. Uh, and again, it's your choice in person or on Blackboard. Uh, you're supposed to be able to live stream on Blackboard in front of the Hyflex model. I have no idea how you live stream a test. Um, so we just have two test options. The PLC is already mentioned. It's your choice. You can use PLC Twiddle or the Allen Bradley PLCs. Again, for the Allen Bradley PLCs, those will be on a checkout, kind of like a library book. You can check them out, keep the PLC for a week, get through the homework set in labs, return them, and somebody else will then check it out. For the required uh, resources that you need, you need a calculator that, do, that can do complex numbers. Uh, HP35S, I recommend. There's also the Free42 on your cell phone. MATLAB, 
also, or most people use the TI-84, you need MATLAB. A lot of the problems in this class will be dealing with solving 10th order differential equations. That is really painful by hand. Uh, MATLAB makes life a whole lot easier. Actually, MATLAB was written specifically for this class. So definitely do get a copy of MATLAB, um, either for your desktop, laptop. If you're working at home and you don't have a computer, you don't have access to MATLAB, please get a hold of me. We'll find out a way to accommodate you. We can make, see what we can get you. And the other legal stuff, um, attendance is totally optional. If you can pass the tests, do the homework, that's really what I care about. Academic honesty, again, homeworks you can work together, or, uh, get help from me. Tests are individual efforts. Uh, please, please, please do not work together on tests. And yeah, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that's the legal stuff. So that's pretty much ECE 461 control systems. It's a class I really enjoy and kind of hope you enjoy. It's basically applied math. Uh, with that, we'll kind of lead into the next lecture on introduction to ladder logic. The ECE 461 control systems for fall 2020, syllabus, and um, introduction.